There were strong performers in both teams, with the forwards made to work hard. The crowd was firmly behind the home side with fullback Gregory Vwawik, who recently claimed the Hastings Deering Pauls Premiership with Townsville Blackhawks and hooker Finley Glare standouts. The junior skipper Glare was a handful at dummy half, sparking much of their attacking play, but the Australian side were able to do just enough to stay in the game and get in front when it mattered despite making a few errors in the challenging and windy conditions. Australian schoolboys 20 defeated PNG Junior Kumul 16. Credit to Australia. On the last play, they threw the ball, they chanced their arm, and they scored a 60-metre try down the other end. So really happy and proud of our guys and just shows there is a pathway here at Papua New Guinea. Yeah, coming on a big stage like this with all the fans and all the family and friends coming out to support us was really well. Uh, it was really good for us. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get the win for them, but their passion and their cheering on the crowd got us through most of the game. So thank you. Uh, they were hard and they were ready to win it in the last minute. Um, our boys showed a lot of character to hold in there um, in very uncomfortable conditions. Um, so the Papua New Guinea people and families should be very proud. And I'm very proud of the Australian team because they had every, every chance probably not to win, but they found a way to win. And uh, that was great rugby league. And as they say, rugby league was the winner. Early in the day, the Australian school girls side too strong for the PNG Junior Orchids, posting 26-0 win with Mercedes Taulele Siala, Kelly Talon Henika and Ebony Rafstrand Smith all crossing for doubles. The match was a close encounter early, with the visitors only ahead 8-0 at the halftime break. Before they were able to run away with the match later in the game, with most of the tries coming via their outer edges. It was the first time the PNG Junior Orchids played, and they gave a strong account of themselves. While it was the second time an Australian schoolgirls side had toured overseas following a visit to Fiji last year. Terry Longwood, TV One Sports.